guys welcome back to RPG Maker welcome back to well design in general and for a while developing as well I had a time when I would code a lot on streams and I would stream a lot but I don't know I'm doing some boring stuff and I don't feel like you know boring people with uh, what I do so let me think right now I need to draw a projectile for a character that the protagonist will uh, meet uh, very soon I mean in the game so it's one two three right one two three and it's one and a half in width good and I decided to have just a chill little stream I don't know how long I will stream though it's always you know uh, I can't tell from you know from the start unless there's something important that may pop or I know that will uh, pop in my life but for now it uh, kind of doesn't matter all right I'm just interested in drawing a blade design or something that the protagonist uh, the antagonist uh, one of the enemies will uh, keep throwing at player all right so now we have four of these right wait huh? wait it should be like this yes so it's like one two three and four yep yes and then it goes like this good okay all right this is as much of a base design as i can honestly that's that's uh what i'm interested in wait i don't want the rubber i want this okay now wait let me see okay it has the correct uh, stuff all right let me see where on earth did this actually start it did start around here but now it's gonna be reversed it's gonna be one two three four five and a half two three four five and a half and then two and a half in here it starts and it goes for other five my gosh I'm doing so much precision without even intending to okay time to do like this and this okay ah. now it doesn't matter honestly at least I left the tip good and let me do this part but what I dislike about this program is that uh, it doesn't have um, it doesn't have any any rotate option that would have been neat I think snap I don't think it has any rotate function though all right let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven my gosh I actually put it exactly in the middle oh good um let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right two four six eight ten eleven yes okay please thank you uh, No, not there here it should be like this and 
and then it goes one, two, three, four. Yes, and then four more. Mm. Yes, so four, six, eight, and eleven. Good. Then it goes. It goes somewhat like this for a while. It's one and a half at the tip and one wait one second. Here. Yep. Yes. One and a half. Mm. Should be like this, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then it would go like this for a big part of its length. Okay. This delete and delete. Also delete. And it should hold over here, right? Yeah, one and a half. Okay. This goes as far as this, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh well. If it's a bit longer than the other one, it doesn't matter. Because honestly, it's not going to be, you know, a significant part of the project, honestly. It's just going to be a projectile that the player will have to dodge. So I decided why not make a real-time attempt as well like the uh, one two three four like the personal battle system is uh, specifically turn-based I'd say why not make an attempt at real-time strategy as well I mean it's not a strategy though one two three four Oh fuck, obviously someone has to fucking call me. <sighs> da. Bun. Da. Hmm, te-ai zis atât mâini la servici, da, mă rog, acum te mai caracoli până acasă. Nu știu, nu mă lămâi. Carantini? Ah. Ah, vadu. Da, bine, da, bine. Ok. I'm gonna take a five minutes break because my father decided to out of the blue to come by me. It's just gonna be five minutes. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna be back. All right. Okay. Let's see. Nowadays. All right. I'm gonna be back in like five minutes. Sorry, but I don't know. It's like my family finds it out of the blue to disturb me every time I do something. All right. Gonna be right back.
that happens from time to time is my father comes by in my place and gives me something but usually food but usually he's not the kind to talk too much and we don't feel a need to you know constantly talk and as such and fortunately these things uh, end up pretty fast okay now time to get back to the design and see how I can handle this part so I the protagonist will throw some fires and one of the clones will throw blades towards the player and I'm not sure if the player can actually dodge all of those I'll see about that but the personal battle system is turn based and I'd be interested in seeing if I can handle the creation of something which would be uh, real time uh, 
real time strategy or meh, whatever it's called. Okay, uh, so let me see. Welcome into also whoever may have joined. And yes, let me get back into the fray. Uh, let me delete this uh, thing. Yes. And now let's see. I think I was doing the coloring part. But the question is, where exactly is this? Ah, so it starts three. One, two, three. Starts three tiles like this. Okay, so like this, it's gonna be this part, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, five and a half, I think. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be symmetrical though. And they are common for one, two, three tiles. Oh my gosh, I'm doing sacred geometry here without even wanting. Um, one. One, two, and three. Okay, so it starts from here. Three, four, five, and a half. All right. Good. Ah, heck. I mean, I could do something like that, though. Hmm. That gave me an idea. But unfortunately, it's not one. I need four because they will be thrown in four different directions. So the point is I need all four directions. I mean, I could put it in GIMP and rotate it much easier, but uh, I don't know. I feel so much safer with this one. And I kind of ended up doing things pretty quickly. Anyways, so let me see where the heck is this one starting? One, two, three, four, and five. Then one, two, three. Wait, no, here. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Easy. All right. Okay, uh, slowly and surely it's over. Should I add a tint of color to it? Hmm. Wait a bit. I could add a tint of color though. Maybe some orange or some red. Well, let's add some red, honestly. And I could do something like... That could be a point though. Um, it's gonna be this, this, yes. Uh, like this, 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 one, two, this, and this. Good, and now one, two, uh, what is it though? Um, yeah, okay, it was this one as well. And these ones as well. I should add these just in case. Well, adding them here doesn't change anything because as long as you don't save them on a tile map, uh, on a tile set, it's not gonna mean anything. If your internet, if your uh, electricity fails, you know, you lose all your work. So I should quickly export it to, where was I thinking to export it though? Um, wait, I mean, I don't need to bother though, because I can see them in here. So, um, not overworld. Oh no, it's a uh, tile set image seven. And then it's, I think B, 
I think I wanted to put it here. Yes. Uh, what's the name of it? Inside B alpha nemesis map. Okay, good. Uh, inside B alpha nemesis map. Okay. Hope I don't fuck things up. Good. Now that that's done, uh, let me see. I need to reset the map like this. And then I have. Oh, fuck. What the. Oh my gosh. Bro. I forgot this fucking part. Okay. Good. Now add, export, save inside B, this one. Good. Now I need to reset the map again so that I can actually see the changes. Good. Now, um, Fire 4, okay, uh, sword projectile, let's say 1, maybe she will throw more, I'm not sure. Okay, you are gonna be, uh, let's see, up, down, left, right. This one is up. Um... Down, leftwards, and rightwards. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Maybe see. It is easier to use for such dummy events that don't do anything special. It is so much. Wait. Hmm. Above characters, maybe, or below characters. Um, when they move towards the character, mm. no, 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 no. Above characters would look better because I don't want the player to look as if they are actually stepping on these. Yes, so it's A, B, C, D. Okay, good. Instead of using switches, you can use self switches because it's not that hard to simply manipulate them from afar. And I need to change these uh, pages as well into D. I mean, I could easily delete these, but eh, in doing so, I can easily do this as well. All right. You can also press enter to be a bit faster. So it's D. Okay, so projectile one, let's say it's zero. Yes. And the only thing I need to do now is add two because they use self switches instead of a switch. So I don't have to bother with that uh, as well. One, two, three, four, good, fire. All right. Uh, what else would I want? All right. So that one. Mm. The last one will probably use. Uh, Where did I put those characters though? Uh, the clones, X, Y, Z. I'm kind of uh, no longer interested in this. Uh, Shinsen Gumi. Wait a minute. Uh, it'll go to pictures and say fantasy. Okay, now. Uh, I think I'll need to open this as well, just in case. I'm not sure I'm going to handle this part. All right. Uh, I need to handle projects, update, uh, fix the convert. All right. All right. Oh, so 
someone someone replied to it okay now let's see so i have this character um shinsen gumi oh someone actually took a nappy as well well it's good uh let's see so heroin shinsen gumi okay let me see i could preserve this one but honestly i don't know uh let me see shinsen gumi is it this one though or which one did i choose uh shinsen gumi 4 this one Oh, I think this one would be much more fitting, huh? Yeah, alright. Okay. Um, I'm gonna change this one because it's the first page. And I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And I'm gonna see whether I like this change or not. But when it comes to fantasy, I had this one, Shinsen Gumi Avatar 01, uh, set for uh, Shinsen Gumi Avatar 01. Uh, where's Clone X? I mean, they should look the same, honestly, instead of they would do different things so i've got three clones here who look exactly like the protagonist and i've got three other clones that do different things should i actually unite those or should i actually keep them separate um, i would say hmm yeah, I would say let's uh, let me actually uh, gonna miss this X. Okay, Shinsen Gumi. I mean, I could stay with a character of mine, character created, rather than uh, a character that was bought. But I mean. I think it kind of looks better or I could change the clothing of this character because I I don't know um, I don't think I have the uh, no Shinsen Gumi mm. wait not this one no this one present is this Kiri all right let me see, character creator, do I even, do I even have that anymore? Battler load settings. Uh, all right, I did buy a few things. So let me see, can I actually improve her uh, wardrobe though? Because I can preserve this character, honestly. I'd rather stick to a character that is uh, personal instead of using a pre-made one by someone else. All right, let me see. Hmm. Oh, looks interesting though. No, not pink, anything but pink, honestly. I mean, this red could go very well. Or this one, let me think. Hmm. Not much of a difference, honestly. All 
All right, this one. Now let me see this one. What color does it change? Um, ah, okay, it's just a tidbit in there. Yeah, I'll put it like this in this one as well. Um, no, I leave the black. The white gives a sensation of barefootedness or something. All right, clothing and save settings. I would say it would be something better, more or less. Uh, face images. Oh, fuck. I need to change all the face images. I mean, do I even care about the face images since they're going to use a different... Since they're going to use a different uh, character, though. Um, they're going to use a different character bust, though, because I don't have someone who can actually draw the characters for me and well even if i had i don't have the money to pay them or much money anyways to pay them and if i did well i need a lot a shitload of characters so i don't think i'm gonna spend on this one what character damage character battler now what character i can simply export this yes this one i will need to export Alpha. Yes. Okay. Damage character export. I'm not sure if I already have one of this. Nemesis. Uh, wait, this one still has. Wait, let me see a thing. Ah, okay, there's no space in between. Good. Uh, so it's this one and ground. I should remove this part as well and I know if I do that it's not gonna be good because I have to introduce it everywhere to introduce it back everywhere it is uh, I'll I'm confused here please choose another location huh Oh wait, no. All right. Good. Okay. Now I actually feel good it did not explode though. And let me see this one. I need to copy this and put it in the. Not this one. Put it in the database in here and restart RPG Maker. Alright. Um, I would say I should actually focus on the three clones being exactly the three clones x y and z uh, mm, which would represent the three clones the player actually has to defeat i don't need to add any extra characters this would mean that i have to remove three characters from my design yes but they were redundant nonetheless oh wait it can't open because of this 
I forgot Sakan is part of uh, RPG Maker, so it's not gonna open at all with that. Good. Now, uh, I need to focus back on the... to focus back on the story itself. Alright, so what else do I need to do? I need to create something. Uh, let me think. Mm. I need to create the pathfinding for the characters, and I don't want them to go towards the player specifically because the map can be a bit picky and it's gonna get laggy if the player is very distant. So, uh, mm. um. All right. Get back to this one. Honestly, I'll see. Uh, right. Mm, this one. Okay. I let clone X look like this. Alpha Nemesis will look like this. Clone Y is here. Now clone Y will use a different look. Which will be Shinsen Gumi, the other one. Is it this one though? Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, and I used. I think it's Shinsengumi one. Yes, now Shinsengumi. Kind of like the name though. It's gonna be this one. Ah, kind of gives me vibes. Kind of gives me Baronia vibes from uh, Honkai Impact or Honkai Star Rail. Let me see. Oh, she kind of has pinkish eyes. The character that I designed had blue hair and blue eyes. And the other one is, which one are you? Ah, here. Uh, Alpha Nemesis Z. Uh, I haven't figured on a character for the... Mm. I mean, it could be this one. So this is one of those. Wait, I could use this one for the Y. I mean, she has blue and blue eyes, but doesn't have blue hair though. I mean, I don't have to stay. Uh, I don't have to stay loyal to something that can easily be uh, changed, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think I can use Shinsen Gumi Four instead. This one is Shinsengumi 4 present, yes. This could look this could look nice for the pixel version of the character though. So this one is the present. This one I really didn't use. Huh, okay. Hmm. 
No, not this, not this, this one. And this one, I need uh, Shinsen Gumi. I need four. Yes, yes. I mean, I should use uh, hmm. should use a more menacing character, I think. This would look much better for the uh, other character, honestly. Mm. Let me see, heroin. I've got a lot of these. Like I've got literally a lot of these. Oh wait, I should be looking uh not here, here. Really hate it when you can't see the full names in here though. I can't even enlarge this. Um, let's see uniform. Wait, the dollar heroine ain't here. Um, not in any of it, it is in characters, I think. Dollar fantasy, I think. Yeah, now it's here. I think it should be around here. Um, you know what? Great, I'm not. I'm a, I may be a very patient person, but honestly, I don't want to waste my life with uh, trivial things like that. So, you know what? This is going to be the character. Yeah, I know she was wearing all black because she is somewhat related to the cycles of life and death. But honestly, I can't care that much. All right. One, two. Good. Uh, you. Okay. Jinsen Gumi. Yes. Yes. Save again. Okay. Mm. I need to take this one, Alpha Nemesis, here, base, and start RPG Maker X. Uh, do I need this one? Yes, in order to, f to finally close this, 
I will need to set the new dimensions for the inventory pictures, which means that I have to run the project. All right. In order to do that, let me put my genius glasses. Well, actually, let me turn on the light. I think it feels a bit better for my eyes. No, the bulb is turned on as well. And let me let me think a bit. Uh, let me start. It's starting quite fast right now. That's at least that I can say. Difficulty is irrelevant though. Oh my fucking gosh, it's still laggy. Why the heck is it so laggy? It's only doing 28%. I mean, it's 65% CPU usage from streaming and something else, I guess, but... Well, at least it no longer freezes. All right, now I'm not interested in starting the story or anything. What I'm interested in is F12 developer tools. And let me think, let me cook, let me cook a bit. Um, their inventory occupied, page one for items. Um, I think this is the items. No. Other character one talking. No, that's not. The Uh, skills page one wait no one two three four five six seven all right um wait I actually have them here mm. why the heck does it always freeze I have to figure out what the heck it is that it causes this freezing because I can't test any fucking thing. Alright, let me think. I don't need these anymore, honestly. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to this was supposed to be I remember the Santa Lucia reference but um, I can replace these with self switches and delete the switches it's gonna be so much easier to look for only a few switches that I need and I can move them up a bit and as I move switches up I can also shorten the architecture. Um, no, these are animated by a parallel event, I think, or whatever. Ah, no, this one is it, right? Hmm. Yeah, I can do something else instead. I can remove the switch and put cell switch A instead. Thirty-nine. Self switch.
okay and this one is also put wait a minute I would say this one needs to be above characters because it's gonna look a bit awkward if it is below I think leave them to above above okay in order to reduce okay but I can't reduce uh, let me think wait this event ah yes this event teleports itself yes but now instead of uh, this switch 277 where are you here uh, I can delete these ones and now I have more free spaces all right and wait a minute um, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that doesn't matter yet all right let me see dollar game map dot map id okay so var map id equals this okay um, let me see this one is 38 39 40 41 okay this is something irrelevant it's just a piece of fluff so it starts at 38 to 41 okay good 38 uh, var key equals uh, map id which in this case is 2 um, 38 and a good and then dollar game self switches dot set value um, dollar game self switches set value uh, let me think a bit okay yes dollar game self switches set value key true But it's not gonna be good. Wait a bit. Um, I can check as a conditional if dollar game cell switches val dot value uh, and this part equals true. Mm, I can check that though. But um, I could use a variable instead of a switch though. I mean, I can use a randomizer, a variable, or whatever. This variable is used for this purpose only here. Okay. Maybe used. Or I could use the randomizer that I have 283 which is this one now I'll leave it like this okay so if you are zero mm, delete this one and also one dollar game switches dot set value uh, 21 set it to one okay Exit event processing. Yeah, I can be a point. Okay, variable twenty one is now. If you are so zero one. Okay, now okay. Uh, I need to copy this, delete, and now it's gonna be event thirty nine, a two, and you are gonna become two good now if you are this one instead and if you are two uh, copy this instead of this switch which is no longer needed so I'm gonna use one variable instead 
and I'm gonna give up on four switches. Fine by me. Okay now. All right. Wait, you're gonna have to become three. Yes, yes. And now this event, good. You're gonna place yourself lower and you are gonna be still the same variable in case you are three. Uh, this one, delete book, uh, no, 41. Now you're gonna become four. Let's say you're gonna become four. All right. Control switches. Okay. Uh, turn off all candles one by. Let me use a sound here, play SP. Um, let's see, Twinkle, do I have any sound? Any? No. Well, these are quotes, even more quotes. This one sounds interesting. That sounds a bit mechanical. We could use this. Um, mm. Wait a bit. Separate. Yeah, thirty-eight. Okay. Um, I can delete this one and I need to turn this variable back into zero just just in case um, some events uh, let me actually say some events might require Now you are gonna go false. Yes, yes. Okay. Wait, it's coma here, not not right there. Three. 
All right. Well, it's a lot more code in here, honestly, but well, at least it adds a little more effort, let's say. Okay. Mm you. I need to correct you in here. Good. Okay, now I need to handle this little part as well. Something's going on with my phone again, yet again. I don't know what this is though, but I think I'll have to restart it though. No, okay, I didn't need to restart it. Okay, I don't need to restart it though. It's just having, I don't know, it looks like it has a seizure from time to time, I don't know. I mean, yes, it's been working on for a long time. I did for many, many years. All right, now in this case, I don't think I need this one from the lighting. Uh, I don't think I need this page anymore. Just delete that and it will remain this. Honestly, I don't even need to give it a picture. Mm. Yeah, leave it like that, event, touch, action and then set from going back ah yes that's the point yes Yes, this page is also needed, but start with self switch A on. Okay, let's see. Uh, this one is event 37. Okay, we go here. Uh, So now this wait, hundred and seventy-five. Let me delete this switch. Wait, let me go to the second map and see this one. Ah, this one is the only one needed. Um, Well, this one I'll have to change and adjust her picture, but but for now I'll have to check something else. Um, no, not this one. Not combat death. No, that's definitely not. Uh, so 
too many switches here I'll see about that if I need them or not anymore I think I do need those anyways um, Oh wait, it's lower. Yeah, it's on this page, but it's much, 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 much lower. Okay, so it's 128, 129, 130. All right. Let me check once again, just to be sure. 128 to 130. Okay. All right. Now towards the end, towards the end, this one. Okay, mm 128 to 130. Dollar game map. Wait. Var map ID equals dollar game map. Dot map ID. Now obviously you can call this variable whatever way I prefer to call it. So. Uh, because, well, you know, it's much easier. 128. Okay. All right. And I would say key one. Yes. And those keys, those swi cell switches are going to stay open. Like, no one cares. Yes. Now, dollar game self switches dot set value. Uh, key one. True. Copy, paste, paste, and this and this. All right. Uh, less switches used means smaller architecture use. Okay. And then I'm gonna handle this map some other time all right 175 i can simply delete this switch cell switch a let it be so cell switch a this a All right, so it's three of these. Uh, perfect. And now I need to also change the delete these tiles here. This one, this one is gonna be used for someone else. Wait a minute. Let me just check on something. Yeah, this is something, but I don't think I have any other blocker event. Ah, yes. could do something uh, what on earth is that okay here uh, yeah for a hundred and twenty seven and this one copy and paste copy paste all right Uh, Mick. 
this to it to before and this is situated below uh no this prevents player from leaving the map so below all right all right now this is now this should be uh, less confusing and let's see oh I put these stupid candles as well eh, oh well doesn't matter much honestly Venger let me see do I have those blockers again no I don't have any blockers all right so I can freely delete those things yes Five hundred and sixteen. This one delete. Uh, this one delete. This also can be deleted. Hundred forty-seven. Let me check. Ah, that's part of the old. That's part of the old thing. I no longer use that switch for sure. I can bet. All right. One thing I can say. Uh, delete all these uh, switches. Wait, 447. Also delete this one. Uh, all right. Now it doesn't matter, anyways. Finally, delete. Okay. Now this is a very important part, let me save it, oh, my wiki went back honestly, okay good, This one delete all right time to retry that honestly trying time to retry that because I don't know what creates that fucking lagginess I don't fucking know I don't have any clue and I don't like uh, being stuck on something stupid I will need to check all the stupid events in here Uh, those aren't parallel these don't trigger yet there's no events in here one event that's gonna be running is uh, I don't know which one of these it is hmm. Let me wait a minute that was it this needs to be put in here within the loop but within here because this if this isn't true it's gonna repeat it's gonna repeat it again the frames were triggering only if this was true okay good 
I fixed another lag issue. Good, so there were two events that were repeating 60 times per second. That's why I kind of don't like using parallel events, but they are also good and they have and they serve their purpose. Mwah. Good thing the good thing I got the idea. Okay, start RPG Maker again. Should be focusing on that as well. Um, but I want to arrange the dimensions for this. It is somewhat imperative, I can say. Um, how long have I been streaming though? Oh, one hour and a bit. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, Okay, start, and let me see. I'm not gonna start the project itself. I just want to, the story, well, so-called story. It's, there's not gonna be much of a story anyways. Okay. Ah, uh, then now, now, now we're living. Now we be gaming. It's like, uh, finally, 24% instead of 52%. Woo! And I can actually move the character around pretty neatly. Now we be gaming. All right. Uh, I'm not interested in that. I was here to do something else. Okay, five. Good. Um. Let me say nine and nine. Eight and eight? No. Eight point seven. Paint eight point seven. No, apparently nine is What a sensation! Oh, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for the, thank you for the uh, follow. Maximum Sharpie, how's the game making going? Well, it's pretty neat, pretty neat. It's not that bad. I've got a lot of things to deal with. Uh, way too many for a single human being, I can say. Let me see. What if it is eight point eight then? Don't tell me it's 8.85, like literally it wants to make me hang myself at times. This whole fucking precision making is... Nah, and obviously it can be seen, right? Let me actually move. Finally moved two of the events that were literally laggy. Uh, I think it can be seen. Uh... Let me see. Let me check one thing. Uh, dollar games screen dot delete or erase it. Erase picture. Yes. Five. Is this one actually aligned correctly or am I tripping? Because I think this one is slightly bigger though. Hmm. Can I do 8.85? Like literally it's, I have to do pinpoint accuracy, like pixel precision. And it's obviously a pixel bigger. Bro, you're not fooling my eyes though. No, you're not fooling my eyes. All right. Now I want to check something else. Um, where are those things? Um, 
So I'm interested in creating a user interface on my own. It's not gonna look flashy like most games, but at least it's gonna be personal effort instead of using other people's plugins. I mean, yes, I'm gonna use a plug. I'm gonna use plugins, but at least it's gonna be my work. Uh, I mean, the plugins I bought from others, obviously, but uh, it's gonna be my work with those plugins. Okay, now. Um, which one did I change? Three. Okay, good. Uh, let me change then. Uh... Wait, what the heck am I doing? These are the very these are the properties, not the image shows. Um, compass disabled. That's important. Oh my gosh, where are those? Ah, okay, this one here. Okay, this is the picture. Let me get picture number two then. And let me put this one here. Let's put four. And let me say invent, da, da, invent ber, inventory. Um, let me pick an item, let's say this one, copy, uh, put it in here, and I think I should put it to 8 and 8, yes, obviously this one doesn't work, now the question is, why the fuck doesn't it work, where the heck is it, wait, it's number one. Isn't it the same fucking dimension as the others? This one looks a bit smaller though, honestly. I hate it when I have to arrange pictures like pixel by pixel. It's frustrating. It takes so much freaking time. And I knew it's gonna happen. All right then, copy, if I, can I put it as five then? No, no, this one, paste, paste, and see in this case, why the heck does it go well in there? Huh, am I tripping? They have the same fucking dimensions, 1212, 12, because they are the same resolution. But I changed it from 1000, from 1200 pixels to 1600 pixels, because I did something that I needed that for, and then I forgot to put it 1200, which means that I might actually have to do all these pictures at 1200 pixels resolution, then I have to put them into GIMP, and rearrange their resolution correctly. I think I just prefer to hang myself in game, of course. Um, wait, which one did I choose? Two. Why is it saying one? Oh wait, obviously it's gonna say one. Meh. Uh, I did five just to compare the IDs. What I need instead is 84 in here, I think. Yes? And one can actually see it's not the proper dimension. All right then. No, I'd think 8.9, nope, well, 9 it is, I guess, Nine point one. Brr. Point one. 
point one. Um, uh, I think this should be perfect, honestly. Now let me think. Take this. No, which one was it? Take this one. Put it here. A balloon. Then let's use 9.1 and 9.1. Let me see. All right, that's more like it. Huh? Does it still show zero in there? Wait a minute. Which are the IDs though? 83. 384 Um Oh wait Delete 4 Yes The background one hasn't been deleted Um So all I need is this one Yes copy but instead of 4 It's 83 Okay, good, good. I'm making some progress. Let me take this one now and say, okay, 83 is this one. Oh, oh my God, am I a little genius? All right. But I do have a question though. Why on earth is it still a fucking zero in there? Or is it five though? Gosh, if that is how you portray me five, honestly, it ain't looking good though. Yeah, I should have made those squares a bit bigger. But if I need to change those, it means I have to change their dimensions in Manga Maker Comipo. Then I'll have to export them. I'll have to put them in GIMP. Change their whole... Uh, I'll have to change their entire resolution actually and then I'll have to change the scripts as well like no 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 thanks honestly the players would better have a good memory though mm. good so the dimensions are 9.1 good okay when using items the their Pictures uh, resolution uh, is times what is the, the, the nine point one x and y scaling parameters yes wait picture scaling parameters all right um. Welcome into whoever may have joined. Sorry, but I get tunnel vision pretty quickly. Um, let me think a bit. Um, empty item uh, slot pictures are 1200 pixel resolution. Item pictures are 1600 pixels resolution okay good um, let me actually try something then mm, empty picture wait what is comipo number one red hey eh? Ah, this is a whole different thing. I don't need it now. All I need is... Come on, can you please... 80. No. No, 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 not the arrows. I don't need the arrows. These. These four. I need to add them here. And now I need to copy some random item uh, names and add them in there oh 
wait, give me something uh, that has, wait, Silk can be distinguished, 3 can be distinguished, 4, I think 5 can be distinguished as well, but depends, I'm watching on a smaller resolution because I'm working on my laptop. Um, they give me some items, let me think, let me cook, and let me copy this one as well. Um, hmm. And let's see. In case player would have a full inventory. Uh, wait. Should I actually put something else instead? Uh, let me put a teleporter scroll as well instead. Okay, good. So it displays them where they should be. Um, no, I fucked it up. Um, no, I know what to do. Mm, copy. Paste this so that I... Uh, wait, what? Uh, why on earth is that still there? Wait. Game screen dot erase. All right, good. Now I need to go to this one behind. No. This one. And what did I say? It's nine point one. Okay, nine point one. I need to copy this paste. Paste, 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 and paste. Yes. Ah, uh, my aching back is almost killing me, but I'm doing some progress though. Ooh, it looks pretty neat. I also have to create the events for this where I can where the player can actually scroll up and down the event the yeah the events for the uh, what's it called Kaltaman literally ah. okay for the uh, inventory yes um, good now that is settled. This is settled. Um, I need to start creating the algorithm for this. Um, and the algorithm will be based on, let me think a bit will be based on uh, these. Um, okay, let this one start. All right, I'm gonna have to talk with someone on Discord and enjoy some spare time before tomorrow's day of work. So I'm not sure how longer I'll be streaming. Ah, I did one hour and a half, I'm okay with that. Let me think a bit, let me cook. Okay, I need to copy, bruh. Okay, copy. Yeah, my laptop definitely ain't feeling happy. Huh? Okay, I can turn this off and that one and let my processor cool down a bit because I'm not interested in running the story I'll have something to fix about that initial dialogue somewhat later and I'm gonna have to do uh, to think of a fix when the player scrolls back through the uh, character quotes 
they're going perfectly now. I removed the lagginess of that and I removed the two sources of lagginess for the game start. Ooh, I actually did some progress today. Well, most of it was done off, off stream, but um, all right. This one, I don't think I need Manga Maker for now. I need to create uh, an algorithm that shows the player the inventory once it is uh, opened. So I will need these things. Okay, let me think a bit in my inventory page. Um, wait, inventory page number. I think I will need a variable, a new property. Uh, I will need a new property page, inventory page number. Mm. Inventory. Um, inventory. Item. Slots. Occupied. All right. How many unique items player has new item? Uh, wait, could I make, could it be easier with an array though? Because I can make an array or a collection of data. But these properties are basically the same fucking thing, except an array will not use properties instead. And I can call the array, but an array needs a variable. I think the properties would be easier to access than to use array IDs, because when I use array IDs, I'm gonna definitely get, uh, wait, array IDs, they can be used, like, there's four pages of inventory times seven is 28. So there can be array IDs from zero to 27. And I think, but I'm gonna have a property for that. Okay. How many unique items player has? Uh, item will increase this by one and uh, make it that any new Okay, how many unique item player has? All right, that's it. All right. Mm. Let me think a bit. Um, I'm gonna start with a uh, is a comment. Now let me see var. Let's call it item numbers. Um, inventory slot number. Uh, I can put it as this one equals and let me see which one is it. It is this one. So it is dollar king variables dot value seventy three dot this value. All right. Uh, property below and those. How many unique items player? has any new item will uh, let me think any new item will um, add 
plus one. is true as long as items on left inventory slots haven't been used good inventory good so now let me think how do i actually how would i simply arrange it hmm. based on how many of those there are um, Inventory slot number. Mm. So depending on where the player adds items, that's the whole point. Um, At least there is something that will measure how many items there are in the inventory. So, mm, uh, let's see, maybe a switch case. All right, and the switch case parameter would be this one. And we have case zero and well let me not forget the break good wait a bit so case zero there are literally no items um, I will have to add something in here now in order to add something in here well let me think hmm i need to create a function or something so that i don't repeat the code now um, Wait, inventory item slots occupied. I don't think I have to take this one into account though. I mean, the items will be set as I was showing it in the pictures, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but I also have to take into account um, No, I, I will have to have two two algorithms, one that sets the items and one that portrays the items. Inventory page one. Um, okay, inventory. Um, I could also add a function to move the selected item left or right, but that is going to be an extra fist, honestly. All right. Uh, and time's flying, so I don't think I have time to try that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine showed me something, but I'm going to look at it some other time. Inventory page number active. I think I should take this one though. Dollar game variables dot value seventy three dot inventory page number active and 
it starts, let me think, by default with a zero, right? Let me see. No, that's not what I'm interested in. Um, okay, wait. Ah, okay, it is good. I didn't delete anything by saying that, by pressing cancel. Uh, slot one item. Good, active zero. Ah, here. Page number active, leave it one. Okay, pages one to four. Number one, that's why. Because it shows page number one, and I think it would be wise to start with number one. All right. Page number one. Okay. Um, there is another thing, though. Uh, have all of these put in here. Hmm. Not sure if it is good to keep them here and also here. Wait. Fuck me. I forgot these. I forgot these. I need to add those in Manga Maker. Not sure if tomorrow after 12 hours of work, because I think I'm gonna be toast. Uh, but I think I can handle that off stream tomorrow as well. Um, I can add these all to properties instead, and I can delete all of these uh, properties, uh, or I can use these here, because yes, I have item name, but I also have, uh, I should add a property for item count, yes. Um, did add a uh, variable for inventory, I think. Yes, it's gonna be 73, right? Uh, scroll, wait, teleport scroll total. Ah, oh, wait, I added it here, teleport scroll total. Um, I can also delete that as well, honestly. Um, oh, wait, the teleporter scroll total. Mm -hmm. I have to open this one honestly. Yeah, minifying. Okay, I'll have to minify that now. Mm. Inventory item slots. Teleport scroll total, I can delete this one. And I can replace it with... Uh, yeah, I can delete this one. And I can replace it with inventory item... Uh, wait. Item name. Inventory items, inventory item limits. Or I could do something else. I could arrange each item to have a fixed slot in the inventory, but that would be a, a bit lame, honestly. Although it would be easier to code, 
Um, okay, let me make my mind. Now I'm gonna go for the complex version, obviously. And I need to add pro variable properties to show how many of each I have and the maximum of each. Good. Yeah, so it's gonna be variable number 74. Uh, inventory item limits except mm. maybe including including other resources though because you can use them right if i remember correctly let me see player header core No, 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 the problem is... I think I deleted that thing by mistake, or I'm scrolling too fast. Ah, okay, these are, okay, good. Um, okay, inventory item limits, including, like, all items and craftables made. Uh, the gadgets also need to also need to add the gadgets oh my fucking gosh oh, oh, oh that's gonna be a lot of work but I can create a um, but I can create at least a, a system okay uh, all right I'll need f9 and I'll need to go to items and I would need to go to this uh, recipe. I can't care about that thing. Uh, all right, siphoning, sulfides, and as such. Uh, max items, two. All right. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna leave the algorithm for another time because honestly, uh, time's flying fast and I want to do something else. I want to play some DDD. I want to cuddle someone. I want to talk to someone else. I've been doing programming for five years without finalizing any game just because I loved playing with things and testing. And for the longest time, it feels like I haven't achieved anything just because I created complex stuff. I learned new things and I had to restart it to rearrange things to the newer... Uh, learned uh, ways let me copy one of this and say i need variable number 74 now 74 is um inventory mm. I need to add inventory though siphoning 
soul fires seven soul fires number all right it's gonna be zero all right yeah okay i can find it siphon in soul fires okay number of no number okay and what else do i need i need this one max okay which is two um soul leech wait not salt fire salt fire all right soul leeches soul leech and the maximum is one well soul leech owned true false no, no 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 i don't want to use true false because then i can then i'll be forced to check constantly uh if it is true or if it is based on numbers uh no all right let me finish with these items and i can literally call it a quits afterwards because if i focus too much on these things i think i'm gonna go cuckoo all right uh this one and this one yes one two no none of that we cannot have that in uh, names and the number is gonna be two okay based uh, okay dimensional plating and I think the limit was again one good astral plating matrix now when it comes to the other cores and the such um, let me think yeah they can be seen in the inventory honestly um, they should be seen there but i have a different set of properties for those all right uh, let me see the other resources and general machinations have their own storage indicator uh, property values all right don't need duplicates here duplicates okay dimensional plating uh, oh my gosh I love these names though I freaking love these names five years ago when I was starting RPG maker these were some of the first names that I could come up with for items and I was thinking about I need to create some smexy items just like they like item names just like they have in World of Warcraft and I said okay I'm gonna come up with some uh, names I don't know if these actually exist most likely they exist in other games but I created these for myself all right matrix stabilizer matrix stabilizer and don't leave I mean I could actually leave a free space in there because it is written in between inverted commas it's a string so it should take everything into account with ease wait matrix stabilizer matrix stabilizers there's two gotta be attentive based based wait i need to quickly go and close the window because it's getting a bit chilly 
and I've got a plant that needs to regenerate. I don't want to keep it in cold. Good, now I'm back. Let me finish this and I think I can call it a quits for now. I may continue a few things off stream as well. All uh, right, matrix stabilizer number. Uh, this matrix stabilizer is two. I need box matrix. Uh, All right, box matrix number and box matrix max is one. Okay, I need box plating. Okay, box eight. We need this word and one. That's two, and the limit is five. Good. Now, stabilizing matrix. I need six of these. I mean, I need. The player will need six. Okay, stabilizing matrix. Limit will be six. But the item, wait, item limit is gonna be five. Because uh, I don't want to create a six, honestly. Uh, I mean, hmm. I'll handle that some other time. Gosh, there are so many things I said I'm gonna handle some other time. I forgot most of those. But when I get back to something, I'm gonna remember that. And hopefully I'm gonna be in a much uh, better mood to handle that. I want one. Hmm. Let me put it with a capital letter O so that it actually looks like camel case writing, just like you know real programmers should do. Now let me see potion of pestilence. Uh, all right, yes, this is actually a uh, an item name, but hopefully it's not gonna be misinterpreted or whatever. Okay, this one I remember it's two, right? Yes, portion of the ability, it's three. Paste portion of the ability. It's gonna have to be three. I could make it that the player doesn't have to look like a, to look for them like a silly goose around the map. Mm. Although I think I and this way the player will actually win a bit of time instead of actually having to search for all sorts of silly items here and there. I mean, sure it could be a thing, but. Mm. I want to create more complexity in here, so the player will probably, probably, will have to um, fight some enemies, or they could actually wait, actually wait, they could actually craft all of these, yes, but I should relate it to defeating those clones, wait, no, they will fight the antagonists and her clones, they will withdraw whatever happens, and the player can actually craft these things and I need to strengthen the reason why these things are so important. And I think I'll have to add some more minor maps here and there just for the sake of it, where there will be just enemies that the player will simply smash and then they will move further. Or let's say they will defeat because apparently smash has another uh, meaning nowadays. 
people are so fucked up with sexuality honestly portion of debility is three good all right i mean i think i can make the player be able to um, craft these you know instead of actually going as they would go to the table I can actually delete so many items though. I'm not sure if the game will be better without, but I don't know. Like I want the game to feel as different uh, from the others as possible. All right. So Talisman of Shattering is one. All right. That is one of shattering. Uh, energy worm. Yes, these are gonna be three. But I don't know. Energy. Energy worm. I don't know why I wrote it in capital letters though, but oh well. Okay, energy worms three good. Now it's gonna be worm extract. Uh, worm extract, and obviously it's gonna be steel max three. I should actually make it that you can have five of those but honestly for those items you only need these many and that's it you don't need any more um, if i increase the limits to five hmm, the player will remain with some redundant items most likely and i don't know there should be some means to dispose of uh, you know to dispose yourself of those or i could simply let it that the player will seek for the items afterwards and then craft the potions and the such well we will see worm extract number worm extract three uh okay moon ray is gonna be just one so many things i have to think of yes uh Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, moon ray number, and it's gonna be moon ray max. It's gonna be one. Copy this, paste. Uh, channeling siphon. Wait. Oh yes, it is good. Uh, Siphon, channeling siphon. These were two, oh no, one. All right. Channel stabilizer. I only need this word though. All right. Now I need channel stabilizer. Uh, scroll of truth though, I really need this one. I think I made it though Yeah, I did it I did it as well. Okay scroll of truth. Ah, okay There goes nothing Scroll of truth Yeah, I can use it as well. Uh, scroll of Truth. But I never added a maximum to it, though. Um, let's say you can... Wait. I'll leave it just one, though. 
gonna be a pass because you're gonna need quite so many of these if I think correctly or rethink correctly the idea you're gonna need a lot of these and having just one uh, it's gonna be a bit annoying you craft one you use it you craft one you use it but you're only gonna need a limited amount though Now Moonbeam was some was an item belonging to something that I decided to give up on. Maybe I can find uh, maybe I can find a usage to it. Uh, poison of uh, banishment. Okay. Poison of banishment number. Copy. Go here. Humiliation poison. Do I even use this? Okay. Apparently, I am actually using that. Let me turn this one on off because I'm gonna quit the stream now, and then I can actually delete all of these. Oh wait, I actually have the common events. Oh yes, I actually have so many of these events actually. Oh my gosh, if I can actually delete those events and put the coding into a single function, mm, ah, that's gonna be so much code less. I mean, it's gonna be less common events used, but it's gonna be a bit, that total code is gonna be put into something instead of using hundreds of, uh, I could use only one common event and use something like IDs to figure out which of the items the player is looking for and display that uh, display that thing. Yes. Okay, poison of banishment, maximum one. Oh wait, humiliation poison. That's what I was here for. Humiliation poison. I'll have to think for an effect for these fuckers. And last but not least, it's gonna be recipe destabiliz uh, no, wait, what? destabilization poison. Okay. Ah, you know what? Destabilization poison. Okay, destabilization poison, copy and paste. Good, that's gonna be or should be it. All right, siphoning soul fires and this one. Good, now I need to copy. These. Then copy this. Uh, close the database. I'm not gonna delete those uh, items yet. Items. Um, wait, let's call it collectible items. First map collectible items. Collectible items. Um, items, con 
uh, number owns 